stupid, Loco may have terrible lyrics, and she may suck at singing, and she may be so delusional to the point where her friend needs to manipulate others to make sure that Loco has some fans, but Loco's kind of cute. And when she's the exhibitionist, you know, when she's all nude, it turns out she can actually sing very well. It's just that the lyrics still sucks. Now, I don't know what we're going to do moving from on. There's still a couple more girls that we have to quote unquote beat on the, you know, enemy side, right? Which is technically not even the magical girls anymore. Let's begin today's reaction. Dodgeball? Hey, it's Nemo. The one that's hiding in the shadows, right? Nemo has no friends! No one wants to be Lemon Nemo's partner? The shadows are safe and the light sharks will get me. That's why her powers are like shadow related, huh? Oh, this is actually so sad, dude. Loco! Loco, look! I don't want to hear you sing. No one ever wants to listen to me sing. Yeah, I wonder why, Loco. You fucking suck. Loco, Loco! Loco's an idol! Loco! Look at me, Loco! She's so cute. <laughs> True! Loco X Labor. Their boss is a dick. Only if you get naked every time you sing, then maybe I join the fan club. Not for the reasons why you think, not for the naked part, but because she sucks at singing otherwise, okay? Okay, the star system, the starless kiwi, right? Nero Alice has three stars, so the, the amount of stars you have is like, it's like a power scaling, huh? Huh, okay, okay. and how much stars do we have, really, right? Because, like, she has, like, a star, I, I don't know what counts as a star, because Nero Alice's stars are right on her fucking forehead, right? Five head. She, Ut Utena has two stars here, but there's technically some stars in the horns here as well. I don't know. Okay, we have two. Sister has three. Lord has four. What's the max uh, stars you can get? Are you just born with it? Does killing other magical girls give you more stars? Did you kill them though? Yeah, yeah, but did you kill them though? Ah, uh, y'all need each other. Don't worry. You can have your transformation on back now. Is she mad that you hunted the magical girls? Are you joining us? You good? Why? Are you mad? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Utena? Sealed. That we're allies. The room you can't leave until you satisfy Magia Bazer. What? Okay, one second. I gotta change headsets. She is so confident now, man. Okay, so it is the dollhouse. <laughs> hmm. Both her powers and mine. I never knew that you could like work with another. Like we're using Nero Alice's dollhouse, but Utena also can control it too. Interesting. Okay. What does it mean to satisfy? Kiwi wants like custom built pre built PC. <laughs> I love it when Kiwi just gets mad. She's hilarious. <laughs> I think Alice is disappointed in you. Hmm? What's up? <laughs> Lack of strength. Training arc incoming? Ben is talking like a fucking manager about to lay off their employees. Ah. 
何よそれあんたが満足ってどういうことよまたろくでも説明すればピューリファイ ?What do you mean p u r i f y カレンですが安心してください So she's just mad that they like hunted the magical girls, right? Because, like, I think this kind of goes back to the overall plot of like what Vena might want, right? Why does Vena want e d Utena from the beginning? Why was Utena the chosen one? Because Utena loved magical girls. She never wanted to kill them. And I think there was a very important thing in episode one where Vena said, you know, why, do you, why, why does the evil girls exist? Because the magical girls exist. But if you hunt them all down, then the balance is skews. So, in order to preserve and in order to, for us to have a meaning to exist, we need people like Utena to lead the charge so that we don't like kill off the magical girls. Is that what Vena's endgame plan is? You know, these two almost reminds me of like Lavine and Kane. If they were both like Lavine, you know? Because they're both just like angry at each other. There's no like bottom here. They're both just aggro and hostile towards each other, even though it kind of seems Yuri. Because you had no fans, and we want you to feel kind of good. I think that she did it because she cares about Loco. <laughs> Only when she's naked. She came up with the outfit? Oh, I don't know. Yo, all these girls need to really think about, like, their reasons for joining. Every one of them has such a, like, easy, casual reason for joining, bro. Just like, oh, yeah, you want to join me for world domination and kill off all the magical girls? You can just become an idol one day. It's like, okay, I'm in. She probably only joined because of Loco. Labor only joined because of Loco, right? Maybe it was... The P online? No, it's gotta be for Loco, right? Yeah, it's gotta be for Loco. Oh, she's crying! So much emotion out of nowhere! Slapping coming? And now you can sing all of a sudden? Fuck that! <laughs> I know, it just sounds funny, right? I know what she means, but it's like, damn, and now you can sing? You betrayed me! No, no, you're important. Utena, did you want this to happen? Okay. Apology, we're back. Oh. So, like, this entire episode is these girls don't get out until Utena is satisfied. Who determines if Utena is satisfied? What act do you have to do? So, it's unlimited fan service in this noise soundproof room until Utena nuts. And it's like, all right, then you can come out. <laughs> We're gonna make these two just make out and just, you know, start making love? Oh boy. Oh. Chew. 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 <laughs> okay, now kiss. But like, how much further is it gonna go beyond the kiss, right? To satisfy Utena. Oh. This is honestly pretty tame. Compared to what we've seen before, this... Oh. I mean... <laughs> the fucking drool. <laughs> the fucking spit line, dude. Uh, okay. Oh, they're getting really into it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <clears throat> focus. Shut 
surely she's not gonna make her like like make them pull out a fucking double sided lightsaber and then for them to both like you know not scissor I'm saying double sided lightsaber <laughs> deeper deeper deep <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be watching the entire time. It's probably recorded too. Oh, 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 the clothes are coming off now. Oh. Loco is the top? Loco is actually the top? So, like, Labor is like the tsundere cold and you would think that labor could be the top but sometimes in this dynamic the tsundere cold one the one that may seem dominant is actually the soft and submissive one and then loco the unaware aloof golden retriever type that you would assume is the bottom is actually the top that's that's a common trope That's that's booty cheek. That's 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 booty cheek. But where, where is the? You <laughs> just you just see the you just see the fucking booty cheek. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, it's, it's a belly button. Why does the belly button seem a lot like uh you know? <laughs> what is the soundtrack? This is the peak anime. Some people actually make the argument that this is the best anime. <laughs> so right now, only the song is playing, right? All the moans, all the noises, the voice acting is on mute. Why? For the Blu-ray DVD. They're gonna add in all the sounds in the Blu-ray DVD, right? <laughs> what is going on? Is, is is this like Utena voyeurism? She's not getting cucked. No, she's forcing a couple to. Utena is just like beating it, just like looking at a fucking couple, just like go at her right now, man. <laughs> okay. Audition outfits for locals idol stuff. Oh 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 the titty. Oh what oh. Maybe I was always like that, implying Lieber always had her eyes on Loco's gazongas. Oh. Oh, I thought she was gonna pull it all the way down. <laughs> Yuri, yep, okay, we know. Just a lot of. <laughs> Does does somebody drop a water bottle? What? The, what, what the, the, I I I I didn't see any water bottle, you know, being dropped in their legs. Clear fluids nearby the crotch area. Huh? Huh? Oh, I I must have I must have forgot it, guys. That's what it was. Coochie juice. <laughs> oh, Nero Alice, if only you knew what your powers are being used for. <laughs> She should leave too. We we should get uh, this this uh, nun girl out too, man. I don't know. She's already lost so many. Oh, what are these fucking monsters behind them? But they've already lost so many of their forces, right? Like, are you guys really good? Invading us? But the other magical girls are still like training, right? You saw something good happen? You mean like local and Lieber? <laughs> Hotel! Hotel! Oh, the pedestrian. They just released the monsters out of the public? To bait the girls out. But this is not our job. Where the fuck is Sulfur? Magenta. Yo, Azure, where the fuck are they? Why are we doing their job right now? Quote unquote training. 
Yeah, like this. Like, what are you fucking doing in the mountain still, really? She's taken two at a time. Yeah. What's gonna fucking change, huh? You're still a fucking M at the end of the day. Last episode, was she not underneath the fucking waterfall saying I'm fucking meditating and training, but it's like, oh, I love the fucking stimulation of the water on my fucking, you know? The cracks in my transformation item have healed up. Remember when the crack happened? That's when she was like going full degen. So there's some kind of like symbolism of the shattering of the transformation item and like whether a magical girl retains her humanity. I don't know. There's a lot of like uh, magical items that the, the Lord had, right? When they came back and there was like a whole group of them. It's like, oh yeah, we hunted the magical girls. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, 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 power of friendship, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's dead. This show is funny and goofy enough to the point maybe Azure will drop in here after getting punched, right? Like, that could totally happen, right? Is this how they return? I, I don't know. Yeah, apparently she can. That's her power? And the masks are all cracked, too. How does she make it? I mean, she's called a lord after all. Break the mask then. Okay. We gotta attack Lord then. Where the fuck is she? She must be nearby then? Uh -uh. <laughs> yep. Okay, here we go. Here we go. As soon as I saw Loco spread in this position, here we go. Please, not narrow Alice. Leave the lolly alone. Ooh. Giganto. Sit on me. Oh, we're actually drowning? Let's go, Kiwi! Kiwi clutch? What the fuck? The what? Out of nowhere? Alright, let's go find Lord. Who's coming with? This is a death flag. Never say this. You never, ever, ever say after this battle, after this war, we do something. Surely Kiwi wouldn't die though, right? It's not that kind of show, right? Right? I don't feel good. You're starless. And you got no pants. I'm just waiting for Sayo to like drop in after like sulfur punch and the magical girls to have reinforcements. Help! Please help! <laughs> she just eats us and we're done? Oh, death by Snoo Snoo! <laughs> yes, 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 Sister Gigan. Oh! Oh my goodness! 
Why? Where is the star system coming from, though? How do we get the stars? Why does Kiwi not have stars? As in... Nuke? Self-destruction? No, Kiwi! Oh! Oh! <laughs> My eyes went to the titties first, and then I went, oh! I was like, titty! Star! Three star! Titty star! <laughs> she was a three star the entire time! <laughs> Makes Sir Gregor's job a lot easier. Now he doesn't have to edit it out. But damn, yo! He's got, she's got a new form? Kind of like Delta, you know, the like cat ears. But like, this form can now fight like with Sulfur because, you know, fists, like big fists, right? And she got like big cat paws now. <laughs> Even the tail like fucking covers the ass crack perfectly. Are we though? Are we ready? Are we ready? And that is the episode. Today's episode was pretty hype. Like, yo, now that I think about it, have we ever seen, you know, Kiwi's titties? And I'm like, I don't think so, right? They were intentionally hiding it so that there's like this moment where it's just like, nah, I'm a three star this all this time. It's like, it's brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. Leopard, leopard. Cat mode, leopard, you know, it kind of makes sense, like feline stuff. So, goddamn, goddamn, this shit's pretty peak. The earlier half was just pretty much, you know, Yuri local labor scenes, and goddamn, the Blu ray DVD when it comes out, <laughs> all the loading, you could probably hear it. And that's pretty much it for me. And I'm still holding down with the theory that maybe Venna realizes that the Lords, the Lord is getting too, um, power tripping, right? She's power tripping, she's actually killing the Masculine Girls, and if we kill Masculine Girls, then you know, the balance doesn't exist. So Vena might be trying to put Utena in the Lord's position so that, you know, Masculine Girls don't die and that we can also coexist. And maybe this is the future of what Vena envisions as the end game. Or I don't know, maybe I just have a fucking tinfoil theory on, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.